Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10, the cave giant. A United States Special Forces team supposedly killed a giant in the year 2002 in the desert mountains of Afghanistan. The elite tactical team was part of Operation Enduring Freedom, engaged in desperate battles against the Taliban in Kandahar. However, the soldiers wound up fighting a completely unexpected adversary. According to the story, the men were high up in the mountains on a mission when they came across a cave. It was a peculiar grotto, with a smell like rotten death wafting out of it. When the soldiers entered the cave to see what the source of the stink was, they were attacked by a giant. It was allegedly 13 feet tall, with hair like orange fire, six fingers on each hand, and it had two sets of sharp teeth. The monster wielded a huge spear and killed multiple soldiers before the rest of the unit brought it down with gunfire. After the team killed the giant, the army took away its body in a helicopter, and it was never seen again. Its corpse is supposedly hiding in a military installation somewhere deep underground, hidden under lock and key. It's important to remember that the Department of Defense has gone on record, saying they have no information about a special forces member being killed by a giant in Kandahar. As far as the military is concerned, it never happened. Number 9. Valiant Thor on March 15, 1957, an alien from Venus supposedly landed on planet Earth in the city of Alexandria, Virginia. The alien, who introduced himself as Valiant Thor, demanded to speak with the President of the United States of America, Dwight Eisenhower. However, the alleged alien didn't look anything like an extraterrestrial monster. He just appeared to be a tall man who stepped out from a spaceship that landed in the middle of a field. Soon after landing, Valiant Thor was taken to the Pentagon. He supposedly told the leaders of the United States that he was a representative from his own world and that he was on Earth to help. Apparently, he also had all kinds of fantastic powers. He was able to restructure himself on a molecular level, sort of like teleportation. He also had six fingers on each hand, not unlike the giant in Kandahar, and supposedly had copper oxide in his veins instead of blood. But how much of this unbelievable story is true? Unfortunately, nobody really knows. An alien ship was said to have been recorded on video, but there is no evidence that it exists. There are also pictures from 1957 when the alien was supposedly among Pentagon staff. But these images just show a man who has never been identified. Number 8. Assyrian Treasures In 2017, a group of troops in Iraq discovered treasures from ancient Assyria. The artifacts were found inside a network of underground tunnels carved beneath the war-ravaged city of Mosul. The tunnels were dug below a mound that was left over from 2014, when ISIS blew apart a 12th century mosque. The Nabi Yunus Mosque was incredibly important because it was supposedly the tomb of the prophet Jonah, but ISIS blew it up, and then they dug tunnels underneath it as part of their defensive strategy in the city. In the wake of destruction, the tunnels turned out to be a good thing. The terrorists dug tunnels so deep that they slipped beneath centuries of mud brick buildings, way down to an ancient temple called carved into the bedrock. The temple was built over 2,000 years earlier. After the soldiers uncovered it, they called in archaeologists to do some investigating and to save what they could. They found carved stone reliefs of mysterious animals and ceremonies. They also identified the entrance to the Assyrian temple. Sebastian Ray from the Iraq Emergency Heritage Management Program at the British Museum said the reliefs they discovered were extremely unique. They contained features never seen before in Assyrian artwork, meaning the palace could have belonged to a previously unknown ruler. Unfortunately, we don't know whatever became of this discovery. It was international news in 2017, but since then there hasn't been a word about it. It looks like after the temple was unearthed, Political turmoil in Iraq caused any additional archaeological work to be suspended indefinitely. Number 7. Ancient Edomite Temple A drone that was used at a military training site in Israel accidentally discovered an ancient structure from 2,200 years ago. 
The small drone identified an ancient temple complete with a rare incense altar. They believe the cathedral was likely created by the mysterious Edomites from the Bible. The Edomites were not so different from the Israelites. Both settled and resettled in the Holy Land throughout the centuries. However, the Edomite kingdom came to a screeching halt when they were destroyed by the Babylonians in the 6th century BC. The few remaining survivors gathered in the southern hills of Judea and settled there, but they never grew to become a powerful civilization ever again. They built their tiny towns and their temples and changed their name to the Idumeans, but they were eventually assimilated and became Jewish. They were such a small group that very few Edomite palaces and temples remain standing today. Archaeologists say similar structures like the one found at the military training site can be counted on one hand. It's an incredibly rare find and all thanks to a drone survey. One of the most incredible things found here was the incense altar, decorated with images of a bull. The bull was likely a representation of the mysterious deity worshipped by the Idumeans before they converted to Judaism. The altar may have been used in unknown rituals, perhaps even in blood sacrifices. Number 6. The Korean UFO Sickness in May of 1951, just a year after the Korean War kicked off, something very strange happened north of Seoul. Private First Class Francis P. Wall and his regiment were stationed near Chorwon when they had what may have been one of the best documented extraterrestrial encounters in history. Francis and his team were preparing to bombard a village with heavy artillery when out of nowhere, a ball of light came toward them down the mountain. It was a pulsing, blinking, unidentifiable orb of light. The soldiers thought it kind of looked like a craft, almost like a hovering jack-o'-lantern. It continued down to the village, just around the time explosions began from the artillery. In an interview from 1987, Francis told the Center for UFO Studies he witnessed the ball of light weaving in and out of the artillery airbursts. It was completely unharmed, glowing orange, and sometimes pulsating with a blue and green light. What's really crazy is that the object was solid. Private Francis fired at the object with a rifle and could hear the ding of the bullets hitting metal, but his shots weren't doing any damage. Then, without warning, the object attacked the soldiers. It swept a pulsing wave of light over them and then was gone. The men who were attacked by this unidentified object suffered major radiation sickness. Three days later, the entire company had to be given medical treatment. They were suffering from dysentery and had a high white blood cell count, the telltale signs of radiation. We still don't know what the men saw out there in Korea, but it was almost certainly a visitor from outer space. Either that, or an experimental weapon. And now for number five. But first, it's shout out time. We'd like to give a big thank you to Claire Harrison and Eric P for watching and supporting this channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the family. Number five, human footprints in Utah. Ancient human footprints were discovered on a remote Air Force training site in the middle of the Utah desert in July of 2022. Researcher Thomas Urban with the Cornell Tree Ring Laboratory made the discovery on an old military property. He was driving across the land on his way to an archaeological site when he looked out his window and saw the tracks. He stopped his truck and got out to take a closer look and discovered the bare footprints of humans preserved in the Utah salt flat. Urban returned the next day with a team of scientists. Together, they identified 88 human footprints from adults and children. The most shocking part of the discovery was that the footprints were made 12,000 years ago. These tracks were left behind during the late Pleistocene era, when Ice Age beasts still roamed North America. This was long before the Great Salt Lake Desert of Utah was ever dry. Darren Duke, Urban's colleague, said that it seemed as though the people had been walking through shallow water. During the final days of the last ice age, the lake started to dry up and it became a wetland. This lasted about 10,000 years, during which humans lived in the swampy area because it was likely full of food. During that time, a group of people left their footprints in the muck. Sand flowed into the tracks they left behind, and then a layer of mud kept their prints intact. They remained preserved all this time, but no one knew they were there on the old military installation. Number 4. Secret Flying Machine A group of United States soldiers were on a mission in Afghanistan at some point in the early 2010s, and rumor has it that eight troops discovered a mysterious flying machine 
inside of a cave. The machine is believed to be 5,000 years old, an ancient piece of technology protected by some kind of mysterious energy barrier. After the soldiers removed the flying machine, they all supposedly disappeared. And now, nobody has any idea what happened to them or where the alleged machine went. This sounds kind of like a movie. None of this has been confirmed by the military. Some historians believe the flying machine was likely something called a Vimana, a legendary propulsion vehicle spoken of in sacred Indian texts. The Vimana was described as a chariot of the gods, something that could carry the Hindu gods across the skies and beyond. Other texts describe the Vimana as a floating temple, a massive palace seven stories tall that could fly. Most modern archaeologists and historians believe the newly discovered Vimana is nothing but a fairy tale. However, others think the flying machine should be considered evidence of highly advanced technology utilized by the ancients. It may have been an anti-gravity machine something that could use gravity itself as part of its propulsion system. Though, of course, how ancient Indians made such a machine is beyond understanding. Whether the military really found one hiding in Afghanistan is unknown. Number 3. Rescued Child During the summer of 1944, one of the most disturbing discoveries of World War II was made in a cave on the island of Saipan. In a rare historical photo, a U.S. Marine discovers a near-dead baby in a cave. In the middle of the thick and humid jungle of the Pacific Island, American Marines came across a mysterious cave. They were in the middle of clearing Japanese fighters and civilians from the grottoes. The people had been hiding there following the United States' swift victory over Saipan on July 9th. The Americans had destroyed about 30,000 Japanese troops and killed roughly 12,000 local islanders and Japanese civilians. It was a brutal battle, and the discovery made in the cave really put it all into perspective. During this stage in the war, the Japanese were truly afraid of the Americans. The fight for Saipan is still remembered for the Japanese civilians who jumped off cliffs to their deaths, all due to fear of being captured by the American soldiers. While the Marines were clearing out caves where the local islanders had been hiding to escape from the violence of war, they found one filled to the brim with human remains. It was one of the most horrendous things the Marines had ever seen, but it was made much worse when they pulled out the only survivor, a tiny child no more than a few months old. The baby had been crawling around alone, but was finally rescued. Number 2. Trench Treasure In the midst of World War I, troops discovered ancient Greek treasure while digging trenches. As you may already know, trench warfare during the First World War was brutal. Fighting was done from one pit to the next and much of Western Europe was riddled in hastily made tunnels. All this digging was sure to uncover one or two artifacts that had been lost to time. The only issue was that in World War I, archaeology wasn't such a popular subject. People didn't care that much about treasure, ancient history, or protecting lost sites. It wasn't until after the war ended and Howard Carter unveiled the tomb of Tutankhamun that the public took a shine to archaeology. Regardless if the public cared or not, Plenty of relics were uncovered during the First World War. In Greece, trench diggers in multiple cities found the remains of ancient settlements and cemeteries dating back nearly 3,000 years. They uncovered copper and gold jewelry, the graves of mysterious women, and the corpses of prehistoric warriors. All this while digging trenches to protect themselves from being blown apart by artillery. Between 1918 and 1925, after the war was over, archaeologists from Britain and France tried to recover these treasures. Many of them were taken to museums across Europe, and just recently an exhibition was put together by the Kilkis Antiquities Ephorate in Greece, showcasing all the amazing artifacts recovered from the deadly trenches. Number 1. Lost Coin in 2021, Israeli soldiers were doing a training exercise on the slopes of Mount Carmel when a soldier named Ido Gardi noticed something peculiar. He leaned over and picked up a coin that appeared to be incredibly old. Surprisingly, the coin had the head of a Roman emperor engraved on it. The soldier handed the coin over to the proper authorities, who quickly dated it as almost 2,000 years old. Experts at the Israel Antiquities Authority were able to identify the Roman emperor as Antonius Pius. They determined that the coin came from between 158 and 159 AD. 
It's one of only 11 such coins that has ever been found in Israel. On one side is the head of the emperor, who ruled from between 138 and 161 AD. But on the other side is an image of the Syrian god of the moon, Men. As for where the coin came from, it was likely minted in the city of Jiva Filippi, also known as the City of Horsemen. The city was used as a base for King Herod from the Bible, and it was a stronghold for Roman soldiers during the Great Revolt between 66 and 70 AD. Thanks for watching. What do you think is the most shocking thing the military has ever discovered? Let me know in the comments below. And remember to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Bye!